back friends trust that um you are enjoying this series on reviving um ourselves inviting the lord to revive us once again uh and today uh, i uh, just want to invite us personally to be those people who look to the lord in prayer now church history has many examples for us to look at um of people who gave themselves to prayer Uh, and we've seen amazing and wonderful outpourings of God follow them are uh, not touching just those individuals but also the communities that they came from and in fact spread to um various other regions and even nations so today uh, i just want us to consider uh, an individual uh, from the welsh revival of 1904 uh by the name of Evan Roberts uh, and Evan Roberts once heard a preacher by the name of Seth Joshua uh make a prayer and in that prayer he prayed lord bend me you know what we've talking about what we've been talking about so far uh in inviting god to work in us carrying um a a simple heart before the lord an honest heart before the lord uh and uh, carrying a, a repentant heart before the lord uh you know uh, in this prayer uh, in the welsh language what what people actually understood was um that one was surrendering themselves as they prayed lord bend me you know one was committing themselves completely to god when they prayed that prayer which said lord bend me and the moment evan roberts heard that prayer he made it his own and then we read about him you know following up on that prayer and trusting god to work in him and work among his people in his lifetime and he prayed for something like 100000 souls to come into the kingdom of god in a short period of time and in fact evan roberts you know he um wrote this he said i said to myself i will have the spirit and through all weathers and in spite of all difficulties i went to the meetings for 10 or 11 years i have prayed for revival i could sit up all night to read or talk about revivals it was the spirit who moved me to think about revival so evan roberts understood that there was a greater and a deeper work that god could do in a season of refreshing and he dedicated himself to continue to pray uh for a revival and you know i'm not talking about uh, just a commune community revival but also a personal revival and you know those of us who have uh, read about the welsh revival we know that god did pour out his spirit in an amazing way uh, that many 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 souls were won um to the kingdom of god in a very short span of time and this work of god impacted not just wales but we know that it went to uh, various parts of the globe making uh, an impact spiritually making um, an impact even in terms of the social life that people led but it all you could say that um, uh, it sort of was associated with praying and the praying that you know evan roberts committed to and uh, he had engaged a group as well to pray along with him but that's what prayer can do that's what an invitation to god to come and work in us that's what a prayer of surrender can do uh, and today i just want to invite us uh, friends uh, that we too can uh, see god god's word says that with god there is no partiality and one man standing in the gap uh it is uh, in fact uh, enough for god to take notice and intervene on our behalf so uh can we all commit to praying for personal revival uh, as well as a uh, revival in our community let's pray together heavenly father uh we pray lord uh to surrender ourselves father god to you and commit ourselves completely to you father we invite you to work in us and god the way um lord people prayed uh, lord they asked uh, for you to bend them lord we we pray today god that lord our lives are surrendered to you that you would come and work and do a new work in us father in jesus name we pray amen 
Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.